Right, it's 1 p.m. Hi world, it's 1 p.m. on the 18th of March 2015. Welcome to Madness Central. Uh, I say that because my life's incredibly busy at the moment. I'm doing a lot of readings, got a lot of personal stuff going on, and uh, it's in a crazy time to be alive. I tried to do a video about three or four hours ago, I tried two or three times, and each time it seems as if the universe conspired to stop me, and that was during the void moon. The moon, the moon changed about two hours ago, and it's now at the start of Pisces. Over the coming 24 to 48 hours, the moon is going to pass over Neptune and Mercury in about 14 to 15 hours time. It's then going to conjunct Chiron in about 24 to 28 hours time. And then of course, it will be the eclipse of the sun which will be total if you're up in northern Norway or the Faroe Islands and where I am it'll be about 85 percent it'll start off seeing the C and then it will go into the smiley and then it will become the D and um, yeah I'm quite looking forward to it I don't think it's going to be a big issue on the world stage although it is in the last degree of the last sign so we shall see in that light here's a bit of an announcement later today I'm recording a live interview with an American astrologer by the name of Crystal Lynn, who goes by the moniker the Cowgirl Astrologer. She actually works a lot with horses and a lot with animals and astrology. And I had a good chat with her yesterday and she's got a fairly big audience similar to similar start audience to mine. So what we're doing is we're going to combine, we're going to do an interview, a joint interview thing on the eclipse on the Uranus Pluto square and on why this time right now is so pivotal in human history from an astrological perspective and we're going to record this in about three hours four or three or four hours from now and it will be going out live on both her um, YouTube channel and hopefully mine as well at 7 p.m. UK time tonight midday PST watch this space two decent astrologers thrashing the world to pieces so that's for later today meantime the moon's in Pisces we're building up to the eclipse and um, well I kind of expect a few headless chicken circumstances to become more dominant in the next 48 hours and I do expect to things to get just a little bit hectic hopefully that's a forecast and not a premonition Give it a week, certainly give it two weeks, two and a bit weeks. I've been saying to everyone, April the 5th, we can let go. It's done. The more we get into April, the happier I'm going to be. But right now, yes, we're in eclipse season. It is silly season. There is going to be a lot of unusual experiences happening to people around you over the coming 48 hours try to remain both neutral and objective on the one hand neutral objective and detached whilst also at the same time be aware that other people's actions and reactions around you are not going to be orthodox and that from now for the next 48 hours it is the potential for game changers so try and keep a stable place and be an outreach to help other people if the opportunity presents itself but come what may, don't overreact. Not in the next 48 hours. You'll be really sabotaging yourself, shooting yourself in the foot and doing yourself and people around you a big disservice. Stay centered, stay focused. And if you're in the strong eclipse shadow, i.e. Northern Europe, don't go driving next Friday morning. You know it makes sense. Catch you later. Bye.